one. Oh, no, that's the big one. That's the big one. That's the big one. All right, guys, well, we've been running the beach looking for any sort of structure that's gonna hold triple tails. I found my structure and I found a triple tail on this buoy right here. He looks pretty big. Uh, this is, not gonna lie, this whole, this is a big triple tail. This is a huge triple tail. This is a freaking giant. There's, maybe there's just two or it's one really big one. Let's see how long this takes. One's on it. One's on it. It's a huge one. It is a huge triple tail. He's about to eat it. He got it. Pulled it out of his mouth. And pulled it out of his mouth. He went straight back to the buoy. That's a keeper, without a doubt. Oh, come on, come on, come on. He thumped it. And the hook just didn't get him. So I'm allowed two triple tail, 18 inches and above. The one I'm looking at right now is without a doubt a keeper. That's our setup right there, good size shrimp. Let me go right back onto him. I can see him from here. There's two. I'm not sure if they're both keepers, but... Yeah, one's about to eat it. It's a giant. The smaller one, just eat it. Oh, no, that's the big one, that's the big one. That's the big one. That is a freaking stud. Oh my gosh, that's a stud. Oh. How sick is that? The body. How sick is that? Well, welcome back to another video today, guys. We're looking for a triple tail off the beach. One of the main reasons uh, I got this boat, the Starving Bay 19, because I wanted to run the beach, wanted to do different. There's another giant on that one right there. Oh, we're gonna get our two keepers today. We're definitely gonna get our two keepers today. Oh my gosh. They gotta be 18 inches full length. This guy looks like it's it. I'm gonna make this happen here. Now the cool thing about these things is they are not super spooky. They're actually really aggressive. Pretty, pretty dang aggressive. Um, <laughs> listen to that, these are definitely bigger than the ones I've been getting in the river. This guy seems about to be about a 10 pounder. All right, I'm gonna have to land them here. I don't have a net, so we're gonna have to grab them. Should be interesting. Oh, we just landed him. That thing's a stud. He's probably 22, 23 inches. Let me see if the other one's still on that buoy. I don't see him right now. Oh yeah, he's on that buoy right there. It's a giant, another one the same size. Okay. All right, well, first triple tail of the day today. Um, he's probably eight, nine pounds, maybe, mm, somewhere in there. He's definitely a keeper, he's probably 20 plus inches. And uh, he's gonna go in the uh, ice box here. But how sick is that? We ran the beach probably I probably can't put it into perspective in a video, but I ran the beach for probably 30, 40 minutes looking for any sort of structure. And we got it. We got it. What a beautiful fish. But he's going to go right back in the cooler. That's so sick. <laughs> so sick. 
All right, I popped that hook right out real quick. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and grab another shrimp and we're gonna try to get our limit right here. Limit is two fish over 18 inches. So I'm gonna grab another shrimp right here. Now that fish actually ate twice. I missed him the first time for whatever reason. When I, I wouldn't say I set the hook, but I just maybe pulled back a little bit too quick. And uh, the hook just didn't grab. Second, second cast in there, he did eat it. But we're gonna try to get that other triple tail. The other one looks keeper as well. All right, now this, let's see. The big one came off that buoy right there. I saw the, oh, I see him. I got him, I got him, I got him. He's right here. There's two on this buoy. I'm not sure which one's bigger. Oh, the one that's under the buoy is definitely big. Three, they're everywhere. They're literally everywhere. Watch this. Come up right up on the surface. That's the little one. The little one just ate it. Oh, okay. I'll take this right now. There's probably four or five triple tail on this buoy here. I bet there's ones that I can't even see. You guys might be able to see that one right there. He looks keeper. I just want to hunt and cook or hook this little tiny guy. Oh, he pulled off right there. All right. Someone's calling me. Hold on. Yo, Nick. Are you finding them? Yeah, I'll call you right back. I'm on them right now. Cobia? No, triple tail. Oh, okay. See ya. Yeah. Someone's always got to call at the wrong time, right? No, I'm just kidding. That was my friend Nick. I'm gonna throw the big one that's right, right over there. Try to get him to eat it. Oh, yep, this is it. He's on it. Yep, he's about to eat it. Yep, he just got. Oh, nope, he changed his mind. Come on, man. He swam up on it and didn't commit to it. Let's see, there's another big one out there. I just don't want him to get hung up on the buoy. He's on it, he's on it. You guys can see him right to the left of that buoy there. He's about to eat it. Oh, that one got it. Oh, this one doesn't seem keeper. It's not the big one, but he's a really good one either way. It's a nice one. Eh, he's close to keeper, but it might be just under. Might be just under. Oh, can they pull? They can pull without a doubt. They can pull. Don't get into the trolling motor there. I think he might be keeper. I might release him though to go for that bigger one that's just to the right of the buoy right now. Let's see if I can whoa! Let's see if I can swing him up here real quick. He's pretty close to keeper, not gonna lie. I think he is a keeper, but I think I'm gonna let him go for the bigger one. Swing this guy in. <sighs> yeah, he looks keeper, this one. I really, I got a hard time letting, I don't know if I wanna let him go and take a shot at the bigger one. We're gonna simmer this guy down. Simmer down, simmer down. Oh. Get this hook out without getting actually Spine. <laughs> Triple tail are super sharp. You guys didn't know, gill plate is sharp and these spines up there are very sharp. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can lay him on the measuring tape right here on the boat, get a measure. But I wanna say he's probably 18 right on the dot. Try to lay him right here on the edge of the boat. He's 16, 17, 18. He's actually just short or he's on the dot, which isn't big enough, so we're gonna go ahead and land back in the water here. We'll shoot him right away. There he goes. We still got our big one right there. I'm gonna put him here in the cooler here in a second, but let me see if I can find that big one that's hanging around here. He's just been hanging off this yellow buoy here. All right, because I kind of got on that buoy there for hot for a second. I uh, ended up spooking the bigger one off, so I moved off the buoy. I'm gonna throw this guy into the cooler. With my ice box here. All right. 
We're gonna throw some ice on him. I think in a little bit I'll throw some salt water in there, make like a little brine. That's always nice. Keeps the fish pretty evenly cold. And uh, we came off that buoy there, so what we're gonna do is hop back on it now. I probably gave it five, six minutes just to settle down, let those fish come back up to the surface and start chilling again. And we're gonna grab another shrimp here. Now we are using live shrimp. Oh, almost a shot to the water there. I like rigging them through the tail. You can rig them through the head as well. But we're gonna go ahead and just rig it just like that for right now. We're gonna sneak back over there to those buoys, see if we can't get that other 10 pounder. Whoa, almost falling off the boat here. Drop that right back right there. Oh, right onto it, right to it. I just gotta wait for the thumb now. Come on. Yeah, he's on, he's on, I had him. I had him. That's a good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. Yeah, didn't even realize he thumped it. He had to have thumped it the second it hit the water. That's a good one. Yep, check that out. I don't even, <laughs> I didn't even feel him thump it. Just gotta make sure he doesn't get up on the buoy here. Don't get up on the buoy. He's a pretty light leader, just 30 pound mono. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Yep, this will be our second keeper of the day and that'll be limited out. Solo limit on triple tail. Heck is the line? It looks like a line got him in the belly or something weird. It's kind of odd. Or it's stuck under his gill plate, which isn't good at all. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the line's in his mouth. That's a beautiful fish. Woo! Come on. Come on. The reels we're using today Pen Clash 2 3000. Solid reel for this. Don't need anything too huge, but you need a decent setup. I wouldn't do this with like a 1,000, but maybe somewhere in the 3,000, 4,000 range. Come on, bud. That's a beautiful fish. That one's the same size as the first one. That thing's beautiful. All right, now the tricky part is landing them without a net. That one's beautiful. I can't see the hook, so the hook is somewhat deep down in his mouth, so I really don't want him to fray me here. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. That's our limit right there. That's it. Oh my gosh, that is so sick. That is so sick. There it is, triple tail number two of the day, and that is our second keeper, which means we are at our limit. Two triple tail this size, awesome day. It came in about an hour or two. Uh, that is super sick. That's all I can say. Super, super sick. This guy's probably 22-ish inches, if I had to guess. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and measure the other one here in a second because he is uh, no more. I'm not gonna put this guy up on the railing because I don't want him to flip off and shoot in the water and swim away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's gonna go on ice with the other one for right now. And uh, how sick is that? All right, guys, so I did end up hitting one more buoy and it had just a little tiny triple tail on it, nothing big. I wanted to just see if I could just get some bigger ones to do some catch and release 
but I just didn't find any more triple tail. I, I got the big ones today, released a smaller one. Uh, I did see a lot of smaller uh, triple tail on the buoys where I found the big ones, so that, that was good and lets me know that I'm not just taking them all or, you know, I'm leaving some left to grow, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys something really neat. Uh, I am sponsored by Tarpon Boatworks, so a lot of you guys are kind of new to the channel. And uh, you may not have seen my Tarpon, uh, Tarpon Bay 19 boat review, which is this boat that I've been running now for about five, six months. I want to show you guys something kind of cool. So right here, I've got set up with three live wells all in the back of the boat. Uh, these ones are plum, so they can uh, keep uh, bait fish in there. Right now I got shrimp in this one. This thing is just circulating uh, with the ocean water. And then in this one I got some croakers that I'll probably use later tonight or I'll save them for another day. And then in this one over here, we got our triple tail. So this one is like our fish box. There, That's pretty sick. Um, fish box, croakers, and shrimp in here. It is all rigged up, set for fishing. Um, so that was just something pretty neat I wanted to show you guys. I've never had that all three of them loaded up with, with stuff, but pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out these triple tail here, hold them up, and uh, we'll get a quick measure on them. And uh, I think that'll be it, so let's do that. Oh, all right, guys. Both fish right here. They are both about 24 inches, uh, and they are freaking heavy. This is kind of an awkward way to hold them, but they are big and they're heavy. Now, triple tail definitely get a bit bigger than this. I'm gonna go ahead and lay them down right there because I guess I'm pretty weak and making my arms tired, but triple tail definitely get a lot bigger than that. I think they get up to like 40 pounds or something like that. These guys are probably only about 10 pounds each, but just an absolutely epic day. I had a lot of fun. These guys are, they're just a really awesome and unique fish to target because of the, the it's just, they're not easy to find. And when you find them, they can be like that and they can be little. They hold to structure and they're just a really neat fish. They're pretty aggressive as well. So I hope to do this again sometime soon. Um, it just seems like it's kind of a hit or miss thing. I've tried a few times now, but today I just got them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, I think that is it. I'll be going to Louisiana for like the next week after today. So you guys might not see like a few videos for, for a while while I'm there. And then uh, when we get back, it'll just be like, bam, 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 video after video of that trip. So I'm going to go ahead and put these guys back in the fish box. And I will see you guys in that next video.